Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with a Stratomatic baseball game. We're trying to get into the... Uh, we're trying to get into the groove here with the uh, new baseball set coming out and the new baseball products coming out very soon from Stratomatic. So we want to get ready for that. And the best way to get ready for that is to, you know, go back, roll some games in card and dice version of the game or go back and play some computer baseball. And uh, I have recently put up a card and dice game between two Negro League teams. Uh, but today, I got a computer baseball game. We're going to go back to 2007, and it's going to be my Chicago White Sox of 2007 against the 2007 Twins. Now, if you're out there and you wonder, where does he pull these years from? Well, it's just years that I have on my computer, and I happen to pick one that would work well, and uh, so I think that this works well indeed. So we're going up against the Minnesota Twins. Both teams had a similar record. The uh, uh, White Sox won 72 games, and I think maybe the Twins won like 78 or something. And uh, the pitcher today for the White Sox is going to be John Danks. I loved John Danks, man. I don't know why, but I just like that guy. And we're going to go up against Scott Baker. He'll be pitching for the Minnesota Twins. So let's go through the lineups. Uh, for our um, White Sox, we're going to have Jerry Owens in center field. And then uh, Fields at third base. Jim Tomey. Love Jim Tomey. Hall of Famer. And uh, now, I think, still on the uh, Major League Baseball Network occasionally. Polly Polly Canerco <laughs> at first base. And you got A.J. Przinsky catching, Jermaine Dye in right, <coughs> Scott Podzednik, Spod in left, Danny Ricar at second, and Jose Uribe at shortstop. You remember any of those guys? I mean, obviously, a lot of people remember Przinsky, a lot of people remember Canerco, Tome. But some of these guys are like, you know, they slip into the, the background easily. Jerry Owens, um, you know, Fields, some of those guys. So for the Minnesota Twins, going to have Alexei Casilla leading off and playing second base. Then uh, Bartlett at shortstop. Uh, Joe Maurer at catcher. Mike Kadire in right field. Justin Morneau at first base, uh, Torrey Hunter in center, Mike Redmond at DH, Lou Ford in left, and Nick Punto will be the third baseman for the team. So, without any further ado, let's get on with this game. In the Metrodome, here we are, folks, in the Metrodome. And uh, Jerry Owens will be leading off. Let me pull myself down here and uh yeah so i guess we're ready you can see scott baker over there and here's his delivery and jerry owens hits one opposite field for a base hit and he is aboard with john josh fields up the third baseman for us going up against baker And he is going to deliver, and he's out, strikes out. But here's Jim Tomey in his Phillies hat. But, you know, I didn't have a, I mean, I could have gotten a pitch. And he goes opposite field for a single, and I am going to send the runner. He's a 1-16 to running, and he does make it. So Polly is up with runners at the corners and one out. And if you know my history of doing the Stratomatic Baseball, it's been a while since I've done a computer game for Stratomatic Baseball. Base is loaded for us on the walk, and that brings up Przinsky. You know that I'm not very good. Uh, I, I usually lose in these games. But let's see if we can bust it open here with Przinsky. 
And he's going to fly out, it looks like, to Ford, but will that get a run home? That's my question. It does not. So Jermaine Dye is up. It's all up to him with two down and the base is juiced. And he strikes out. So we uh, we threaten there, and now we're going to send Danks out to pitch to Alexi Casilla. And that looks like that's going to be a ground ball to Recar, and he is out. Jason Bartlett is up. And Jason Bartlett is going to ground it down to Polly, who should make the play, and he does, and Joe Maurer is up. Maurer power. Lefty on lefty here, and it looks like he's going to hit a uh, fly ball to Jerry, the governor, Owens in center. And that is that. Here it is, Espod, Spot, <laughs> Scott Pizednik. And he is going to be, oh, he'll have to sit out for three days. Well, he's gonna, there's going to be an injury I'm going to have to deal with. Uh, but here is Rikar, and Rikar is out. I remember I was so high on Rikar. I thought he was going to be a good player going forward, and, well, he wasn't. And here is Uribe, and Uribe is going to pop out, pop out to Bartlett. And yes, they are going to ask me to make a change in left field. So who is that going to be? Well, it could be Erstad, but he wasn't good. I don't know if Cintron played left. He didn't. Hall is a catcher. Torero, it could be Torero, but I'm better off going Erstad. So we're going to put Erstad in as the uh, replacement. And uh, Danks is back out to the mound, pitching to Kadire here in the bottom of the second at the Metrodome. That's going to be an, a base hit, it looks like, up the middle. That used to be a base hit all the time. Now it isn't anymore because people play guys right up the middle which they can still do even with the shift being eliminated Morneau but he was out actually he was out but Morneau is going to looks like he's going shopping at the gap or hitting a home run <laughs> no it's an out nice great play by Owens and so that brings up Tory Hunter And Torrey Hunter is going shopping at the gap or hitting a home run. And that is a double. And so Redmond, Mike Redmond is up with Hunter at second. And that's going to be an out. Oh, no, it isn't. No, Redmond got, he walked. So Danks is getting himself into a little bit of trouble here. Lou Ford up. Lou Ford looks like he's going opposite field, but it should be a fly out to die. To Jermaine die. And uh, so we are 0-0, zero, zero, top of the third. Scott Baker back out to the mound for the Twins. And Jerry Owens, who's one for one and was part of that bases loaded traffic jam in the first that Scott Baker got out of. And Owens gets aboard again. And now we've got, um, let's see, should I try to steal? Maybe I will try to steal. Yeah, I'm going to attempt the steal. And he is safe. So now we got a man at second with Josh Fields up. And that's going to be a strikeout. Fields will be 0 for 2 on the day so far after he comes back to the bench. And Jim Tomei, who is 1 for 1, he went opposite field single the first time he was up. And he is going to go shopping at the gap or a home run. That's, this might be gone. I think this is gone. Just kiss it goodbye, people. Yes, it is. Two-run home run, and now here's Polly. We have a 2 nothing lead. Maybe I will hang on and win with my White Sox today. And that's an out, and Perzinski is up. 
Brzezinski, the uh, rough-around-the-edges personality, but a uh, very good catcher. And uh, that is going to be a single by Brzezinski with Jermaine Dye. Two down, Brzezinski at first, and Dye batting. And he is going to strike out. And he struck out last time, too, I think. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. That brings up Nick Punto. Punto against the Danker. And uh, that looks like it should be a fly ball that Owen should be able to handle. And it is. That brings up Alexi Casilla for the Twins. Here in the bottom of the third with the White Sox up 2-0. And that's going to be a base hit, looks like. No, no, it was snagged by Uribe. <coughs> and Jason Bartlett is up with two down and nobody on base. The Danker, he's pitching well so far, and that's going to be a fly ball to die. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for the new products coming out. Plan on getting the 1976 set, the reissued set that's coming out. Um, Erstad is batting against, uh, against, uh, Baker. This is his first at bat since coming on for an injury, I believe, to Pizednik. And that's going to be a fly out to Kadir. So, yeah, I'll be getting the 76 set. I will be getting the, of course, the 22 set, both in the cards and the game, the new game. And I may actually get, um, a couple of the other things. And wow, what did Recar just do? Did he hit a home run? No, he had a double, though. We'll take it. And Uribe is up with one down and a man at second. Recar up there at second base. And he might have gotten a hold of something for a double. Let's hope. But, you know, you got Hunter out there. No, it's in the alley. And it is a double that drives in a run and gives us a 3 nothing lead with Owens back up at the plate. And he's one for one today with a run scored. And there, that might be an out. And it is, and Josh Fields is up. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see what else we end up getting. Um, I'm not sure. I may get the uh, Negro League uh, season that they have. I think they're going to have a Negro League season, 1948 or something. Um, Danks back out to the mound dealing to Maurer. Um, I know the Japanese All-Stars are going to have a Japanese All-Star set coming out. I may get that. Um, the 48, um, 1948 um, Negro League, I don't know if I'll get it in cards or if it's even, I'm not even sure if it's available on the computer. But if it's available on the computer, I'll definitely, I think, get the computer version. But I... Um, uh, I may not get the cards. And so uh, here we are. We're in the top of the fifth with Tomei, who's two for two with a home run. He is having quite the day against Baker, dragging Baker all over the place. I'm surprised to see Baker is still out there. And Tomei might have himself a base hit here, and he does. And Canerco is up. Let's see if Canerco can capitalize on that. He's 0 for 1, but he had he did walk earlier. And he is going to be out, and Przinsky's up. He's one for two. So we'll see how it goes with that. But I am excited about everything. Of course, you know, there's Hall of Fame induction. Now, that was a deep hit. Did he get a home run out of that? No, he did not. So Jermaine Dye is up, and there's two down. Still up by three. Now, there are going to be Hall of Fame inductions this year, Stratomatic, the inaugural um, Stratomatic Hall of Fame inductions. There are people in the Stratomatic community who think I might uh, be in that Hall of Fame discussion. I'm not so sure, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Among those are, of course, my buddy Chris Dufour and my brother Jim thinks that I should definitely be in that. And Coach DKM, Dan Miller, 
also believes that I may be part of that, uh, you know, that inaugural class, it would be great and it would be a great honor. But there is stiff competition and I don't really know what they use as a criteria. I mean, I've been playing this game for 40 plus years um, and pretty consistently for 40 plus years. And Nick Punto is up. With two down, the Twins can't get anything going here against Danks, which is surprising because this was not a good year for Danks. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, it would be a great honor. I'd love it. But, you know, there's people that go to, like, um, you know, the tournaments, and they contribute to, you know, writing for Stratomatic, and they do all kinds of stuff like this that I don't, I just don't do. So... I'm not so sure that that's going to put me in the discussion. And the Twins got a run while I was talking. But that's all they did. They just got a run. And then we will um, see if we can extend our lead now because we only lead 3-1. So Erstad up at the plate against Scott Baker. So a lot of things. There's a lot of things on the calendar coming up uh, this year. This uh, this year for Stratomatic, uh, pre-order date is January thirtieth, I believe, and then the um, uh, opening day is going to be February seventeenth. I will not be at opening day this year. I've gone to two of them in the past, but won't be doing it this year. Um, but um, the um, the uh, games and the sets and everything are released on the 20th of uh, February. If you go to opening day, obviously, you'll get your game and your set <coughs> before everybody else does on the 17th of February. Otherwise, you got to wait for till February 20th. Mike Kadire up. I may have to pretty soon go get Danks because, you know, I don't know if he's going to survive this. But Kadire actually hits a fly ball to die. So that'll be the first out here in the sixth. With our White Sox ahead 3-1, to one, I'm sure I must have some guys out in the bullpen. But we got Danks. He's a lefty on lefty right here going up against Morneau. And did he strike Morneau out? Um, no, Morneau is still up and Maurer just stole second. So we'll see if we can get Morneau here. And it looks like we did. So he struck out Morneau, and now Torrey Hunter's up. He's one for two on the day with a double. Has a chance to get the Twins another run here, and maybe two, but he doesn't. He flies out to die, I believe, and that will end that inning. And so we're back at the top of the order with our main man, Jerry Owens, and they're sending Scott Baker out there, although really this is a close game. Three to one, you can't really say it's that bad, and Owens... Rips one down the uh, the left field line. Is it going to stay fair? It does not, and it's out. So there's one down with Josh Fields up. Josh Fields hit one, hits one down the left field line. Is that going to be a fair ball and a double or a hit or something? Something good for us. It is. It's a double. And now you got Jim Tomey, three for three. Are they going to keep Baker out there? I mean, he has been tearing Baker apart, and they do. Baker stays out there, but he strikes Tomei out. And so now Canerco is up with a man at second and two away. And he is going to go the other way, but it might be an out. And it is an out. And so... Who boy, do I let Danks go the side? I'm going to let him start the seventh. Uh, you don't have to warm people up in the Strat game, so, you know, I can just bring somebody in. But Redmond leads off by maybe going deep, but let's see. Erstad's a good fielder. And it's gone, though. They got to Danks, and now Lou Ford. Now, Lou Ford is not going to go deep, so it, let's let him see what he can do. Looks like he's going to fly out to die. I'd like to get Danks through the seventh. If you know my managerial philosophy, 
I'm back in the old school, back in the 70s, where, you know, pitchers pitched seven, eight, nine innings if they could. And uh, no, that's an infield base hit for Punto and Casilla up. I really should not let Danks keep going, but I am going to do it at least one more batter. And what happened there? No, it's ball four, and I will go get Danks. So we are going to go, let's see. Let's go see the bullpen. And Boone Logan. Do you remember Boone Logan? I do, too, and I'm not going to bring him in. Uh, Bobby Jenks. Generally, it's probably early for Jenks. And how did he pitch 40 innings? Oh, no, he had 40 saves, maybe. All right, so, ah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get Jenks because I really want to win this game. So we're going to pitch, we're going to bring Jenks in to pitch to Bartlett with one down and the Twins with runners at first and second. And that is going to be probably a fly ball to Erstad. And that is an out. There's two down and Maurer is up. And what does Maurer do? And he's out. So, yeah, and they're going to send Scott Baker. They are making Baker's arm fall off. That guy is going to be in the hot tub after this game for sure. Brzezinski rips one on him to a single between second and first. Jermaine dies up. He hasn't done anything all day. He's over three, and now they do bring in a reliever. And uh, that's going to be who? Matt. Matt um, Guerrero, Gary, Guerrero, Guerrero. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But Die got a hold of one off of him. That might be a home run, maybe a double. No, it's a double. I'm, I'm going to hold the runner though. He's a nine runner. But we've got runners at second and third now with Erstad up. And uh, they bring in another reliever. They're going to bring in Matt Nashak. Or Pat Nashak, not Matt Nashak. And that's going to be a hit up the middle. Should get a run home. And it does because it's an error. And uh, two guys score. And Rekar is up with a man 90 feet away now. And our White Sox with a 5-2 to two lead. And Ricar is going to hit one to deep center field, it looks like, at the very least, which should score Erstad. <coughs> and it does. <coughs> and it is six to two. And uh, Uribe is up. Uribe is grounding out to short. N uh, no, he throws it away. It's an error. So the Twins have just shot themselves in the ass in this game. And Owens is up. And now I don't, oh, man, he walked. And so now jo Josh Fields is up. I don't think it really matters now. I mean, I don't see Jenks giving up this kind of a lead. Tomei is going to be up. And did he rip one down? the? He did. It's another run. We're ahead 7-2. to two. This was a good game a little while ago, but now... My White Sox are just taking it down. And Canerco looks like he might be out, and he is. So the Twins are up here in the bottom of the eighth. They're down 7-2, to two, though, and I got um, Jenks out there. I might actually put in a guy that's not quite as good after this because I don't think Jenks would really have gone uh, like two and a third innings, uh, which he would have to do two and a third, two and two thirds or something. Which he would have to do if he finished the game. But, you know, at the time, it was a close game. I had to bring him in. But now we can go get somebody of a little esser, a lesser ilk that's not quite as good. And that is going to be a fly out. Should be the third out of the inning. And we're going to the top of the ninth with Brzezinski up against Pat Nashak, who they do send back out there. He came on last inning in relief of Matt Guerriere, Guerrero, 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 
And uh, Brzezinski's out, and Jermaine Dye is up with one down. Jermaine Dye not having a great day, but he did have a double. He's one for four on the day. And let's see what happens here. He's gonna looks like he's gonna fly out to Hunter. And that brings up Darren Erstad. Erstad, who was on the White Sox briefly, mainly known for his time with the Angels, as you can see, he's in the Angels hat. And we are gonna go get a reliever now. So let's go to the bullpen and Let's bring in Matt, Matt Thornton. I think it's Matt Thornton. Yep. We'll bring in Matt Thornton to pitch to Redmond. He is one for one with a home run today, but that looks like it's going to be a ground out to Uribe, <coughs> which it is. And Lou Ford is up. And Lou Ford hits it down the line to Morneau, who makes the play. And Punto, two for three. And he's going to strike out, and that's going to be it. We win the game, seven to two. White Sox win. Let me get the box score for you so that you can take a look at uh, how everybody did. You see Baker for the Twins went seven. He gave up nine hits and four earned runs. Um, and then his relief didn't do that much better. Um, <coughs> for us, Danks went six and a third, gave up six hits, only two runs, and walked three. He didn't strike anybody out, though. One home run. Jenks went one and two thirds, allowed nothing, basically, and then Thornton went one, a perfect uh, ninth inning. And uh, we had a lot of hitting stars. I mean... We were 7 for 39 at the plate, or 12 for 39 at the plate with uh, seven runs scored and six RBIs. The Twins were only uh, 6 for 33 at the plate with only just two runs. And so that is going to be it for me, sports fans, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.